One of the most pristine settings in all of sports. In the shadows of the San Gabriel, the Rose Bowl in Pasadena, California, it will come alive when the powder blue clad fans start the eight clap and UCLA, UCLA, ready to roll. A Big Ten showdown is coming. Conference implications of plenty that could resonate for the rest of the season. As we'll see, the Minnesota Golden Gophers taking on a team looking for its first win, the UCLA Bruins. And the Golden Gophers will put total leather and will get started. And he takes this from inside the five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. The Bruins offense will have the first possession of the game. And here he is, one of the best receivers in the game, and he just commands attention, both from the defense and from the fans. Yeah, he's a guy you got to keep your eye on, and you're going to see him line up all over the field in this game. He can play in this. Got a lot of running room. And they'll pick up the first down and mark it at the 47. And the Bruins want to move quickly. Well, there's the offense trying to take advantage of this running back speed. I like the call. Hand off to the left, to the outside. Put him in space and let him go to work. Grab behind the line. It's Jones. And maybe he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. They want to get this defense on its heels. Nice job, defense. You always hear people talk about tackling the catch. You saw it right there. There was nowhere for that receiver to go once he had possession. As a result, no game. Uh, and that's your goal, separate man from ball. Try to get your shoulder in there on the catch point and really make give him something to think about. Physically jar that football and knock it out. Nice job by the defender. And he can't escape, and down he goes. And that is how you silence this raucous crowd. Defensively on the road. First drive of the game, setting the tone, getting a huge sack on third down. The Bruins will line up to punt it away. Getting our first look of the afternoon at the punter. A fairly short distance here toward the sidelines. Not his best work. The Golden Gophers offense will have its first possession of the game. As we take a look at our impact players for this game, David, what do you look for to make an impact from your leaders? Your leaders not only have to lead the football team, but they got to step up and make plays on the field, keep everybody calm. These guys typically do a really good job of it. Yeah, David, and they also generally set the tone for their respective football teams. Regardless of which side of the ball they play on, the teammates look towards them to step up in big games like this. They opened the lane, and he hit it a gain of five out to the 33. After the strong run on second down, third down coming. Do they do it again? To the ground to try to pick up the first. They were all over him, nowhere to go as that third down play turned into a disaster. First one is away, and boy, did he put in work in that loss last week, kicking it five times. That nifty return sets up the offense and negates some of the yardage on the punt. The UCLA offense is back on the field, ready to go to work. Give to the running back. Turns it on at midfield. And it is a chunk play, a huge gain on that one before the defense brings it to an end. Yeah, I tell you what, I'm always keeping track as a defensive coordinator of where they're running the football. You can see they ran it to the right. Do they like this matchup? Is the right side of their offensive line really good? I'm going to be paying attention to that because that's a big gain. I'm going to make sure I shut this down the next time they run it. A little bit more to go after that last completion. They'll try to pick it up on second down. Back to pass, it's Garbers. Pressure coming. And the defense picks up a sack, getting the quarterback down at the 44. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. On third and long, you'll need to push it downfield.
Getting some heat. And this defense has maxed out this pressure. Another sack. And anytime you hit the quarterback, man, you make him think. You speed up the processor a little bit. And that's the third on the day. This is a unit, actually, that does a good job of that. They're in the top 25 in the country at getting the quarterback on the ground. And the Bruins will punt it away on fourth down. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. And that, my friends, is getting the perfect bounce, the perfect punt, and the perfect roll. They'll have them locked down inside their own five. They'll give it to the back. That'll be a beneficial run as he creates some breathing room and gets it up to the 13-yard line. The big pickup on first down leaves them with second and one. The give is to Taylor. Not much there. They'll give him one to the 14. You've got a third and manageable. Backed up in your own end, but convert here and you get some momentum. They'll try to bully their way for the first. They get him on the ground after he gets enough to move the sticks. The Golden Gophers getting set on first and ten. To the ground with the back. They'll rip off eight on that play. It's second and two. Went with the running game on first down, now back at it. On second down, they'll take to the air. Quick strike complete. He is stopped behind the line of scrimmage. They'll lose yards on that one. Fairly manageable distance here on third down from the 27. Looking to throw, it's Brosmer. He puts a lot of air under it down the sideline. Man, it goes through his hands. Oh, he had an explosive play right there for the taking, but couldn't reel it in. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Looks it all the way in, and now turns his attention upfield. The solid return there offsets some of the punt yardage and really sets up this offense nicely. Using the quick game. He's brought down solid pickup, but a little bit short of the first down. The Bruins want to crank the tempo. The play action fake. Makes his connection. On the move at the 30. And you can see the offense just feeling itself. They've got it down to the 21. Move the change with that completion now on first down. Really nice looking pass. When I think back to the history of UCLA quarterbacks, I think about guys carving up defenses in the Rose Bowl in the perfect weather conditions with the gorgeous San Gabriel Mountains. Let's it fly deep downfield. Reels it in in the end zone. Touchdown, UCLA. But when you call the wheel route, you need to have the right matchup, and that time they did. It was the linebacker on the running back, one-on-one. -on -one. He uses his speed, beat him to the outside, and that's about as easy as it can get. And it looks as if they've buzzed down. Replay wants to have another peek at that last play. After taking another look just to confirm everything, the officials on the field got it right. The play will stand. And with the extra point, they get the first seven of the game. Let's go to the studio now and check in with Kevin Connors. Kevin, what do you got? Guys, let's take a look at what's happening in a great college football matchup. Rutgers is currently ahead in this one. The folks in Piscataway have been in a frenzy all week, but they're in the birthplace of college football. This one is close. They're up by seven over Wisconsin. We'll circle back if anything big happens you need to know about. Thanks for the update on that one. Kevin, let us know when it goes final. Didn't get much done on that first play of the drive. It's second and 11. Gives it to the back on the draw. Followed that blocking and got five out to the 26. Facing a third down and short from the 26. To the air, it's Brosmer. Coming after it. And the defense is all over the quarterback and down he goes. 
Well, this guy's had all of college football talking after coming away with three sacks in his first game, and he already notches his first sack in this one. What a terror he has been on offense as early this season. And the Golden Gophers line up to punt it away. Pulls it in and looking upfield. He'll be guided out of bounds, but not before a nifty return on that one. UCLA will go back to work on offense. Jesse looking to take it down the field for back-to-back -back touchdowns. I think it's really important for them moving forward, too, to have a lot of balance, right? You want to be able to keep this defense guessing. Yeah, and you got me searching for answers after that last drive. You stack another drive on top of this, their defense's heads are going to be spinning all over the place. He'll keep it himself. And they try the middle of this defense, and that is not happening. And the Bruins racing to the line in the hurry up. Really nice job by the defense playing responsibility football, making sure the quarterback couldn't make any of his reads, making sure the picture is not clear, getting downhill, getting the quarterback on the ground. And a nice, solid pick up there before the defense wrestles him to the ground. On third and long, try to convert through the air. Stands in and takes the hit. And he makes the catch inside the 10. Gets it inside the five, down to the four, and it'll be first and goal. What a nice job just finding a spot downfield and lofting it in there perfectly. And you see quarterbacks and receivers do that all the time, right? All summer, throwing the ball in air, throwing the ball in air. Why? Because I know exactly what... And the quarterback caught up to and sacked at the 12. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. Moving the running back, trying to get the D to tip its hand. They're working that left side. They've got it down to the three-yard line. Really well done on that throw and catch. As they get set to snap it, just about to reach the end of the quarter. They're going to throw it on third and goal. And the quarterback is knocked down back at the 13. That's the end of the quarter, and UCLA has the lead. Guys, let's have a look at the stats as we've played one period. Lots of time left, and we're ready to get back to it and open the second period. It's fourth down, and they'll try the field goal. And the kicker delivers the three ball to finish off the drive. And they'll push that lead down a little further. After that last field goal drive, they're set to kick it away. On the move from inside is five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. The Minnesota offense is headed back onto the field. They are trailing by 10 here, Jesse, but this is the type of team that seems comfortable in an offensive shootout. You got to hold serve at this point, right? You got to drive the field, put some more points up on the board. Yeah, they just scored. You can answer that now and keep this thing close, though. And I think you're used to that as offense. Like, football is so fast-paced now and you score so quickly, it's not that big of a deal to get down 10. You keep being you, keep being aggressive. From the 39-yard line, it's first and 10. The offense showing motion from the tight end, trying to get a read on the D. The give to the back. And how about the efficiency on that one? It'll bring up second and four. Kept it on the ground on first down, now back to the line. To the air, it's Brosmer. Feeling some heat. And the quarterback is snowed under. Get a pass rush like that, and the Bruin faithful will give you an eight clap in a heartbeat. They'll get jacked up. They'll get excited. I mean, you think about a defense. you got to get those guys up front. You, you want to dominate college football. You want to be in the mix. Find those big defensive linemen that can make plays. They're... 
Nowhere to go, and the ball is loose. Oh, and he gets the ball back. Lucky to do so. Guess it could have been worse. The Golden Gophers send out the punt unit. Fourth time tonight we've seen this guy come on to punt. Makes the catch and now looking for just a little bit of daylight. Not able to pop the big return, but they've got the ball back and ready to go with a fresh possession. Quarterback on the keeper. Creating some space, getting just enough good blocking, and they've got it up to the 47-yard line. The Bruins headed quickly to the line. Keeps it on the bootleg. Throws to the wideout. Complete to the left. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. More precision throws from this Bruin quarterback, much like a Rick Neuheisel used to play. Just pinpoint accurate. Put the ball right where you want to. You think about Troy Aikman, you think about some of those other great names in UCLA history. Well, give the defense credit on that one because they knew coming into this one that they were going to try to get this receiver the ball in a variety of ways. They were ready for the screen there, and they create a negative play. Trying to make magic with his feet. And he has a solid gain on the play before sliding. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. Dropping back, it's Garbers. Spits it out to the back. I don't think that's the way they drew it up. Incomplete. And on fourth down, they'll try to salvage the drive with a field goal. Well, they've already made one. The holder will put it down at the 38 for a 48-yard attempt. Oh, and he missed it. No good. Lead is still at double digits, but missed a chance to make it bigger. Minnesota has it back, and the Gopher offense is headed onto the field. Their drive chart is starting to look a little monotonous. Punt, 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 David. And their defense is starting to get a little frustrated, too. They just keep putting me back on the field. And he's running in the open. Plenty of room on that play, and they find their way to the 36. Finally, this offense starting to show a little juice. They've got a first and ten. Might as well run him until they stop him. He's got it again. Little too soft in that run defense. He picks up four to the 32. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. From the gun, running back on the move. Nose is ahead to the 30-yard line, a pickup of one. This is the type of play that decides games. Are you tough enough to convert third and short from the 30? Pocket starts to collapse. And he tried to make something happen with his feet, but they stopped him short, and it'll bring up a fourth down. And here comes the field goal unit. And he's got to find the right combination of distance and accuracy from the right hash at 45 yards out. Oh, he missed it. No good. The missed field goal leaves us with a double-digit game still sitting at 10. offense is back on the field ready to go to work we talk about settling for points but sometimes when you have to settle for nothing David it can be demoralizing yeah and it can definitely be frustrating and I think it leads you to say maybe I go for it more but Jesse I think this offense just needs to put another drive together and just finish stronger yeah and, and be a little bit less predictable too especially as they get closer and closer down to the end zone he's got it he's run out of bounds but a big play on that one and it'll be a first down i just love the job this offensive line is doing in this game communicating pre-snap they know where the pass rush is coming from and they're working their single and double teams and not giving up any ground just look how clean that pocket was for the quarterback to throw from and you see so many smart wide receivers, so many smart tight ends nowadays that they know where the holes in those zones are, and they work with their quarterback, and they find them, and they sit down in them and make big plays. It's tough to sit back in zone against such smart players nowadays. 
It's complete to the right. There to make the tackle, but the big throw is good enough to give them a first down. And the Bruins want to pick up the tempo. It is so good for an offense early in the game to get in a rhythm and to start stringing first downs together. It makes the game really easy and puts that defense in a situation where they're starting to get tired. They want to sub. They want to get other guys in the field. But stringing first downs together like this makes it hard to defend. Out of the gun. The running back has it. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. They missed a field goal on that last drive, but here on third down, they can't afford for this possession to come up empty. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Now on fourth down, they'll try to come away with three. Oh, the attempt is no good. Guys, a double-digit lead is good, but more would have been better. Look, it's sloppy out here. It's wet. The ball is slick. It's not easy to kick in these types of conditions. That's now his second missed field goal, but I know this kicker's disappointed of himself because he's good enough to make these kicks. The Minnesota offense is headed back onto the field. You want to talk about taking the wind out of your sails, drive the ball down the field, and miss the field goal, David. You know what? Don't leave it up to kickers. Execute better offensively. I think you move the ball nice. you got to keep that in mind. But, Palmer, I think you got to stay aggressive and don't settle for field goals. Yeah, because you got to know there's just no margin for error right now. You just have got to be able to execute at a higher level. At midfield, he's got room. And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. They'll snap it from the 47 on first down. Trying to get to it. Quarterback all over the place trying to make a play, but eventually he goes down. What a great job by this defense setting the tone early. In the first half, they've been hitting the quarterback early and often. Make him feel uncomfortable. Make him feel that pressure. Keep getting him on the ground. That's why they've built a lead. These guys are bringing serious heat. They are like sharks swarming and just getting after the passer. Grabbed in the backfield, it's Taylor. And he is run out of bounds as they go backwards there and just avoided the contact. Third down coming. On third and long, no secret what he needs here. They're bringing heat. That quarterback was doing his best. Houdini escaping in the backfield, but the defense finally gets to it. Well, I think one of the biggest reasons why this team is finding themselves in a hole here in the first half is this has been a sack party. They can't keep the defense off of their quarterback. They haven't been able to get the ball deep down the field, throwing it with the consistency they want because they can't keep their quarterback standing up straight. And before they can kick it, the receiving team is going to call a timeout. And the Golden Gophers decide to punt it away. They've been busy out there to punt for the fifth time today. Slips through the line. They'll put a stop to that return as he gets it up to the 41-yard line. Looking for a productive play on first down. He wants to start this drive with a pass. Pressure come. And here's a fumble way behind the line bounced right back to them good awareness by the offense you never want to see the ball on the ground but a nice job understanding to just kind of jump on it and make sure you keep possession looking to throw it's garbers turns it on in midfield and he was off to the races and he gets it to the 45 defense just has to do a better job in coverage guys they did a great job taking away the quarterback's initial primary target but then they left that guy completely wide open. Somebody busted on the back end. And they couldn't hold off the heat, and he goes down with the sack. The defense has been so dominant up front. You've seen it in these passing situations. That now the seventh sack of the game. They've already racked up big sack numbers. It's starting to snowball, and they are ready to go again. Getting some heat. He's going to take off. 
They get him on the ground, didn't see anything downfield, but made a little something out of it. The offense calls timeout. It's the second one they've used this half. This is a third and long. Wide receiver now comes in motion. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. The Bruins will send out the punt unit. They'll look to pin him deep. And the punt will hit at the one just a little too far for them to be able to down it. It'll be a touchback and come out to the 20. Keeping it on the ground with the running back. He'll get it up to about the 32-yard line before he stopped, and it'll be first down. There's a timeout called as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. Fires to the wideout. Pass on the way. It's picked off. Taking it the other way. And he'll be brought down, and that's how we'll end the first half. the end of the second quarter. That means it's time to join Kevin in our halftime update. Guys, who's got a better seat there in Pasadena than you do? A captivating game so far. And I get it. A lot of coaches will say the difference between winning and losing comes down to stopping big plays and getting big plays. But if you ask me, it's more about how good you are on third down and how efficient you are in keeping drives alive. Those two stats can help you break the will of even the best defenses and help you come out on top. And with that, let's send it back to the guys in college football heaven, the Rose Bowl. Here's the return from inside his tent, and the returner is stopped. Minnesota has it back, and the Gopher offense is headed onto the field. And in a low-scoring game like this one, David, every possession is magnified. And I think more than anything, it just gets frustrating. And you got to put that behind you. you got to see what this defense has been doing to be so successful. Palmer, now use it against them. Yeah, David, I think for a play caller, this is tough, right? It's like you have to have the perfect play on just to get a first down. In these types of games, I think you're just trying to get guys out in space. See if a dude can break a tackle. Maybe that generates an explosive play, and it breaks this trend. They tried to go smash mouth on third and short, and it did not work against this defense. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Makes the catch at the 30. Tries to find a little more running room on that return, but he'll be stopped at the 36. The first down for the offense. He'll pull it on the read. And the freshman does a great job using his technique and getting the man on the ground. And the Bruins in the hurry up. Looking for a man, it's Garbers. Tackled immediately after the catch. Now facing a third and long. From the gun, wants to pass. And the pressure gets to him. Down goes the quarterback. And I think this team knew going into halftime trailing, their defense was going to have to step up here in the second half. And on the very first play of the third quarter, they get a sack. That is good news for this defense. The Bruins will call on their punt team. He's getting a lot of work. Fourth time he's punted tonight. And they'll get him down after the return at the 27-yard line. The Minnesota offense is headed back onto the field. 
The sledding has been tough. Scores have been at a premium, Jesse, and every possession seems like it could switch the momentum of the game. Yeah, Reese, for this offense, just feels like they just haven't been as physical. And for this offensive coordinator, David, he's having to go deep into the playbook just to try to generate a first down. Well, and the good thing is there's not a ton of game pressure because the other side's not scoring either. But if you can find that one thing, that get that one positive play, and then maybe you get those juices going, then something can start to build. And they'll spot it at the 45. That's good enough for a first down. The Golden Gophers come to the line with a fresh set of downs. The jet sweep pass. And this one will be stopped for no gain. Offense gets set for second down. He's looking to throw. Gets it out fast. And that had all the makings of bug meat windshield. But how about the little corner taking on the big tight end and keeping him from getting the first? They're trying to slow that rush down with the draw. Picks up just a few before he's brought down. Not really willing to take a risk there on third and long. And the Golden Gophers will bring the punt team onto the field. And the punt hits at the 8 and goes into the end zone for the touchback. UCLA will go back to work on offense. It has been a complete uphill struggle for both of these offenses, Jesse. It sure has. At this point, David, someone's just going to have to step up and make a play. Someone's got to break a tackle, make an incredible catch, and just give some life to this offense. And whatever you can, whatever it takes. Don't worry about looking pretty. That's out the window. We've already looked really, really ugly. we got to find something that works to put some points on the board. Coaches always harp about staying ahead of the chains. And when you can run with that type of efficiency on first down, man, you are doing just that. They'll go to the ground. And the Bruins pick up the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Scanning the field, it's Garbers. Quickly complete. And he was fortunate not to lose yardage on that play, able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage. Out of the gun, the give to the back. And it'll be a pickup of nine. They're facing a third and one. The Bruins will hustle to the line. Looking to move the chains. They throw it complete to the left. That'll be enough for the first down as they stop him at the 43-yard line. Really nice job there by the quarterback, understanding that it's zone coverage on. Just too much of a rush, and down goes the quarterback just behind the midfield stripe at the 49. I think because of this offense's inability to run the football, I think play action is going to be a little bit trickier and harder for them to now pull off because this defense is just not expecting run or they're not afraid of their ability to run the football. Big loss on the last play threatens to knock this drive off course. It's second and 16. He's looking to throw. Unloads to the wideout. He's got an open man. And this defense is a half a beat behind. They just can't quite keep up. They've got it down to the 21. Some programs just seem to be built for a great passing game. The patron saint of Bruin passers is Troy Aikman. And honestly, Reese, it makes me think of the, the UCLA blue, the sweet uniforms with the gold, just quarterbacks looking sweet. McNow, DTR, looking the park, being the ball. Looking to throw. Got it! Oh, and he thought he might be able to wiggle his way into the end zone, but they knock him down at the three. Powers forward. Into the end zone he goes. Touchdown, Bruins! No midseason concentration laps here in week seven as they push out that lead. Up and over, Yama will be there into the end zone. And, and you don't want to leave your feet very often in football, but this is one of those areas where you do. 
in the end zone, near the goal line. You smell it. A lot of bodies in front of you. Just get up, get over top of them, get that touchdown. They'll try to tack one more on their score. And with the extra point, they now have a three-possession lead at 17. And for a quick update, let's go to Kevin Connors in the studio. Two very different emotions inside the locker rooms of these teams who did battle today. Vanderbilt opened up a can, and how many times can you say you went into someone else's building and beat them by double digits? It's what happened today, and the rest of college football should take notice. A lot to go through in the film session this week for both teams. But boy, it sure is going to be easier for the side that came away with the win. Kevin, thanks a lot for that one. Sounds as if they had a good one there. Out of the gun, the inside give. Didn't find a lot of room. Let's give him two out to the 20. And this offense is desperate to keep this drive alive. Trailing by multiple possessions, and it's getting late. He'll try to pop the draw. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. The Golden Gophers will try to pin them back with the punt. Let's see if he can help the coverage team out with this one. Might have thought he'd want to try to pick up a few yards there, but he's content with making the fair catch right around the 35-yard line. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. They can rely on this guy to pick up solid yardage when they need it, and he's out to the 43. Motion by the back forces the defense to adjust. And now on the pitch, the ball's loose. It's raining in this game. It's making the football slick and slippery. And you know ball security is going to be a massive issue. Both coaching staffs have preached about that to their teams in the locker rooms before taking the field. And these guys really need to do a better job of holding on to the football. Nine-yard pickup on first down, and now they can take a shot on second and short. Back to throw. It's Brosmer. A shot toward the end zone. And good coverage there to knock it away and deny the score. Coming to the line, looking for that first down on third and short from the 29. And he's brought down after a nice game. That's the end of the quarter, and UCLA has the lead. Let's take a quick look at the national rankings to see how this playoff race is shaping up. One more period to go, and we'll see just how much fight they've got left in them. And the Golden Gophers with the first and ten. They'll give it to him again. And a nice job by the running back, finding space, getting downhill, making the good run. Great job finishing with his pads. Wide out in motion. Touch pass on the jet sweep. Touchdown, Golden Gophers! And they'll put that scoreboard operator to work and put six on the board. Really nice job working the route and getting himself open. He was able to locate the football, snag it out of the air, and this guy now has five receiving touchdowns on the year. Lining up for the PAT. And with the extra point, they close to within 10, down 17-7. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. 17, Minnesota, 7. Here he comes from inside his own five. Couldn't find a way to create that broken field as he stopped at the 25. The UCLA offense is back on the field, ready to go to work. As it turns out, the fumble on that last drive set up the touchdown, David. And there's no bigger... Lost one deep down the right side. Makes the grab, gets the foot down. Just precision execution on that big play. Well, I tell you, man, this guy's been putting on a show all game long. We've seen his decision-making. We've seen his athleticism. Because of him, they've got this huge lead in the fourth quarter. So why stop throwing it? Just keep it going when the going's good. Unloads to the right. He's got it. And he's brought down after a nice game. 
And the Bruins moving quickly to the line. Another first down. They'll throw it from the red zone. Fires to the tight end. They go up top to get it down to the five-yard line as they try to pay off this drive. A great chance to put this game away with a score here on first and goal. Moving the running back, forcing the defense to adjust. Let's it go to the end zone. And it's caught. Touchdown, UCLA. They tack on a little extra here in the fourth and just about set to break this long losing streak. That's a nice job by this offense. Nice job putting the drive together late. This might seal this football game. And nice response. It's nice to be home. And then come back to the home crowd after you've lost a couple games. Get some mojo going back in your way. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And that extra point is a big one as they now have a three-possession 17-point lead in the fourth. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Minnesota has it back, and the Gopher offense is headed onto the field. Coming after him. And he will be sacked at the six-yard line. You can just see the excitement this defense has every play. They're almost wishing this quarterback drops back to throw because they know they're going to get home to him. That's the sixth time they've registered a sack. And now they have enhanced their degree of difficulty on second and long from the six. To throw, it's Brosmer. Feeling some heat can't get him to the ground and he gets out of there and gets some yardage and gets down without taking any punishment they line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one they're trying to get to it and the quarterback caught up to and sacked at the 12 goodness gracious this is a master class a clinic on how to get to the quarterback the seventh Sack of the game? Are you kidding me? That's a season for some teams. They've lived in the backfield. The Golden Gophers will punt this one away. Three and out and not much choice but to get rid of the ball. And the returner will be brought down. UCLA will go back to work on offense. Wide receiver coming across in motion. From the gun. Give on the inside. And he's swallowed up at the line of scrimmage by the big defensive tackle. On second down, he'll fire. Pocket starts to collapse. And there was nowhere to go for this quarterback, and down he goes. Another sack by this defense, but how about this QB? He continues to get back up every single time, still leading his team, still staying positive, still putting him in a good position to win this football game. Got quite a ways to go to keep this drive going. It's third down from the 45. Got his man quickly. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. The Bruins will line up to punt it away. They may have to pay him overtime. He's punting for the fifth time today. Special teams coming through. As they pin him back, they'll mark it dead at the 10. The Minnesota offense is headed back onto the field. Boy, three and out last time, David. They'd like to be more productive this time around. Yeah, in the last drive, nothing really clicked. No rhythm. Got off the field really, really quickly. They need to put something together here, Paul. Yeah, David, bad execution on that last drive. So they got to take a collective breath and start playing. And the quarterback caught up to and sacked at the 12. Well, the 
problem for this offense now late in the game, trailing by a bunch of points, is that the defense knows they're going to throw the football. And right now, offensively, they cannot protect the edge. You saw the speed coming from the outside. He was able to get to the quarterback for another negative play. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. Looking to throw, it's Brosmer. He lost one down the sideline. And they wanted it all on third down, but now dealing with fourth down. And the Golden Gophers line up to punt it away. He's going to try to flip the field with this one. At midfield, trying to turn it upfield. Returns like that are why you don't settle for the fair catch if you don't have to. Picks up just a little bit of yards to help out the O. From the gun, he leaves it with the back. A strong tackle and wrap-up from the junior. And the Bruins come to the line in the hurry-up. Leaves it with the running back. Keeps the legs moving. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. A third and long coming up here. From the gun, wants to pass. Good quickness to grab it off the bounce. Touchdown, Bruin! And the punishment has been extended. You see some confidence over there as they're closing in on a Week 7 win. There's no mercy rule in college football, man. They've got a huge lead here in the fourth quarter. They are still chucking it, and they are still scoring. They'll try to add another to their lead. And he did make that extra point. No issue with the treacherous footing. Quick strike offense on that replay scoring drive. And they close the deal from 43 yards out with a touchdown pass. On the run from inside his own five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Minnesota has it back, and the Gopher offense is headed onto the field. Trying to get to it. And he's all bottled up, and now it's worse. The ball's loose. Oh, it looks as if the defense got it. And he's brought down, and this defense gets the ball back for its own. You know, as quarterbacks, you've got to be good in the pocket. Even when things are collapsing and you've got guys swiping at it, you've got to have two hands on the football. Didn't do a really good job of ball security there, and that led to the fumble. The Bruins light it up with a first and goal. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. After getting nothing done on first down, second and goal from the six. They'll run it up the middle here, looking for a path to the end zone. He steps and powers and works his way. They finally get him down at the two. This defense was put in a difficult spot, but they've made it tough. And now the touchdown, UCLA! And the route is on. And this always is the debate of where you fall. It's your job to stop me or I should get concerned because this offense obviously has had themselves a day. And apparently, their day's not over. They're going to continue to keep scoring, and the defense better do something about it. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And with the extra point, the lead is even bigger. And let's check in with Kevin Connors in the studio. Kevin? Gentlemen, let's take a look at what's happening in a terrific top 15 matchup. Oregon is ahead early right now, but years past they've had Michael James or Joey Harrington. They don't have that guy this year, and that's why this is tight. They're up by 12 over Ohio State. We are the eyes and ears of the college football fan, and we've got you covered all day here in studio, guys. And how about that one? Kevin will be keeping an eye on everything going on elsewhere. Looking to go up top on first down. 
They're bringing heat. Hit hard as he released the ball on that first down pass, and it never had a chance. After the incompletion, here comes second and 10 from the 32. Motion from the offense. Back to throw, it's Brosmer. Makes the catch along the sidelines and steps out of bounds. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. Third down coming. On third down, going up top. Pressure coming. They get enough rush, and it pays off the sack at the 20. Man, how about this offense, man? It's been a rough day. You're getting beat down. You're trying to find some kind of momentum late in the game to build something off of, and you give up another sack. Coach has no choice here. The offense has to stay on the field, down multiple possessions this late. Fourth down attempt coming. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. He's going to let one fly down the middle. Can't complete the long throw, and the defense gets off the field on fourth down. Excellent field position here for the offense. He wastes no time and comes out throwing. Pass rush, gets there, gets home, gets him down at the 23. Well, quarterback went down behind center pretty quick that time, and it makes you wonder as a play caller, against this pass rush, do you start thinking about maybe rolling your quarterback out and changing the launch point? A first down sack can be a drive killer. Now it's second and 13. He's looking to throw. And give him another six. Grabs it for a touchdown, and the blowout continues. Man, this has been a complete performance. The defense has been lights out, and the offense, obviously, just continues to pour it on. This is what you call having a great day. Putting it all together, offense, defense, complimentary football. They'll try to add another to their lead. And with that extra point, the lead remains in the gargantuan category. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. He'll start the return inside his five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. The Minnesota offense is headed back onto the field. That fourth down gamble didn't pay off on the last drive, and it led to giving up a scoring drive, David. Yeah, and everybody wants to go for a fourth down. Everybody wants that, but your defense sometimes has to bail out your decision-making. We decided to go for it, we didn't get it, and the defense, Jesse, didn't come up big and prove me right. Yeah, not complimentary football, no doubt, but look. He's going to let one fly down the middle. And they can't hook up, going for the big play on second down. Now it's third down. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. Oh, he loves to fire downfield. And they can't hook up on the big play, and that brings up a fourth down. The Golden Gophers send out the punt unit. He's got great speed. Offense getting set for first down. The give as they work on that clock. Yeah, and he's shown you a little bit of everything today. Shows you why he's a really good back, and the lines paved some holes, and he's, he's right at 99 yards. And the way this game's going with the lead, he's going to get a few more touches, break that century mark, and when you do, you have a great chance of winning football games. And you want to talk about gang tackling. Everybody on the defense run to the ball. On third and short, they keep it on the ground here. They've got it inside the 40 at the 39 as they pick up the first down. And the Bruins come to the line with a new set of downs. The gift to the tailback. He showed it all there. A little elusiveness, a little power, and he's got the first down. With the clock running, this should be the final play. It's another first down for the offense. 
three consecutive L's, a hat trick of losses, and as a result, you can take their hat out of the ring for most of their goals. Yep, most of their goals are done, and listen, I, I don't know what they do really well. This is bad. Three losses in a row, it's not good. They gotta figure something out, but it's a long season still. There's still a lot of room to find some positives, Jesse, maybe throughout the way. There's gonna be something happens that's positive. So you're saying there's a chance. Yes, I like it. Always positive. Glass half full, Dave. Listen, I, I don't think they can fix everything in one week. I think this team needs to go back to the drawing board. They need to focus on one specific area of their football team to try to improve on and get this thing going. That's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, our entire broadcast team, I'm Reese Davis. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.